anybody that's worked for a large company uh, has certainly sat in a large brainstorming session uh, to very little effect. You know, people call a brainstorming session and they'll invite 20 people, which you got 20 people in the room, almost nobody is going to speak. You know, the risk of speaking and saying something stupid is, is high. There are optimal numbers of people that you should have for brainstorming. There are processes that you can take people through. There's preparation that can be done to, you know, maybe not ensure creativity, but help foster creativity. Uh, but, you know, uh, the sad truth is that I'd say probably about 90% of the brainstorming meetings I've seen conducted uh, at large companies essentially is somebody goes, hey, let's get into a room, a draft one, something like this. Let's stare at each other uh, for an hour and a half, drink some coffee, and randomly hope magic happens. Given the publishing is going through so many changes, uh, given the incredible need for new ideas, you know, one of the things I'm spending a lot of time on is, well, how do we create a process that gives us a greater likelihood of having those ideas? Part of the experiment here is, what's the fewest number of people you can get into a room with and do this? What's the fastest way to do this? What's, which is faster? Spending a lot of time making sure you're right or not worrying so much about that and being wrong four times as quickly as possible and, 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 and hitting it right on the fifth time. You know, it's been interesting. We have a, we, we started a site, StyleFind, which is our uh, e-commerce, our kind of first big sort of uh, e-commerce um, play. Uh, shopping, uh, you know, a uh, style and beauty, a fashion and beauty site for women. And uh, when we built it, we also built in a lot of A-B testing capability. And so that kind of gives you a lot more creative freedom, you know, to say, well, here's a great idea. Let's try it this way. 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 Let's test them all as fast as possible to limited portions of the audience. And you know what? We're going to find out what works and what doesn't work very, very quickly. In, in large companies, there is a tendency to not want to move until you're absolutely sure you have the right answer. And of course, the point that you're absolutely sure you have the right answer, if you were honest with yourself, you go, that means I've got a 50% chance of being right. Well, instead of doing that, how about, I mean, obviously doing a little bit of homework, doing your research and doing your thinking, but, you know, rather than making sure it's perfect, go, you know what, this is a plausible idea, this is a plausible solution, let's give it, let's give it a try as quickly as possible.